Hi everybody, Damien here from paulbratby.com. Hope you're all doing well. Um, as part of our educational series now on TradingView, I just wanted to show you some information about setting up your broker with TradingView. As you know, with our website, we provide indicators. We have a signal service uh, through Discord using our Xbrat algo. And one of the main questions we keep getting from people is that they're stuck with a particular broker or they're stuck with a particular platform because they have their brokerage as well with the platform. What we generally tend to say to people, you don't just have to use the same charting system with the same broker. There are a lot of full-time traders who use different systems for charting as well as different systems for their brokerage. But what we want to show you is if you wanted to put both in together, this is how you can set it up so for example if you're a trade station user but obviously you wanted to use this on a mac if you wanted to use this on a tablet then you can with trading view but the easiest way of doing it okay so when you go in you've logged in you've got your account set up you go into your charts but what you want to go do is down here at the bottom okay we see your stock screener your text notes etc what you want to select is your trading panel okay so you click that and it enlarges. You can actually increase the size here if you wanted to, if you can see it properly. The first three you're going to see is obviously paper trading. Uh, you've got FXCM and you've got Gemini. But if you come down to the bottom here, you see the three dots. If you click the three dots, that will then show you all the available brokers to you. Now suddenly you've got a load more available. Okay, so you have Trade of 8, Oanda, AMP. But down here you see also Trade Station. So what you need to do is you need to just come here click connect and then you can sign in with your live or your demo accounts click continue and there you would just sign in with your login details for TradeStation it's literally that easy the same can be said for any of these other brokers here obviously but the one thing I will say is just double check make sure there's not a fee from that broker for using TradingView I do know that Trader Vate, for example, I think they charge around $20 a month uh, to be able to put their feed into uh, TradingView themselves. However, if you just wanted to use TradingView as your charting platform and you just wanted to pay for the data within TradingView, that's possible as well. All you need to do is if you go back into your TradingView homepage, so here we are, and then what you want to do is you want to come up to your username up here, click that. And you go down to account and billing. So when you come down here, you then have extra data subscriptions. And you just want to click the extra market data. And then you come down here and this is where all your market data is available. So for example, if you're a futures trader, uh, you can use uh, the CME group, for example. You click cancel on that. It's basically saying that if you're if you have a live trading account with a CQG power broker, you've already, and you've already purchased the, the data from them you don't have to pay for it again with TradingView but that's only if you have a CQG powered broker if you don't just click cancel so we're just going to buy CME for example uh, you have the option one year or monthly scroll down to the bottom and that's four dollars a month for, for these these four okay so you just click next and then it will just take you in you put in your billing details you pay for it and then your live data is available straight away. So look, I hope that's helpful for you guys. Uh, if you do have any questions, feel free to email me, damien at paulbratby.com. If you want to learn more about how to use TradingView, or if you want to know more about our Expert Algo, or even our add-on club, come to us, paulbratby.com. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, for more updates, more videos, uh, we're trying to put as much educational content out there as possible, and it'd be great to have you on board with us. But if you have any questions, email me. But thanks very much, guys. I'll speak to you soon.